Hello, today I'm sharing some fantastic drugstore dupes and affordable alternatives for luxury and high-end makeup products. I'm also giving you my verdict on a few dupes that have been floating around social media to let you know if I do in fact agree that they're dupes. Many times we debunk overhyped dupes in these videos because the dupe isn't actually that close to the high-end product. I know everyone's definition of a dupe is a little bit different, but to me, the end result needs to be pretty much the same. So some of these are amazing dupes while others are terrific affordable alternatives to the high-end makeup product and others aren't really that close. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new and let's get started and see if some of these drugstore makeup dupes can save you some money. I addressed the new bang situation in my last video. I'm still not sure how I feel about them. It's been a long time since I've had bangs. I'm not sure if I wanna add more layers throughout my hair also, or if I just wanna go ahead and get them a little bit longer to do more of a curtain bang situation and have them kind of swoop. I think I just need to get used to them again. It's been a long time since I've had bangs, but I've been thinking about it for a while and I finally took the plunge. If you missed that last video, by the way, be sure to catch it after this one, I'll have it linked up in the corner and down in my description box along with everything I'm sharing and wearing today as I always do and most products well I think most products will also be available through the YouTube shopping icons but they don't have everything available for you so be sure to check my description box where everything is sourced for you so let's talk about the first makeup dupe or alternative we shall see this is Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter it's $49 for one ounce but it is a really beautiful product. I have shade three, which is for light to medium skin tones, but because the shades aren't completely opaque, there's some flexibility. I could definitely go deeper if I wanted to. Now, a lot of people dupe e.l.f. Halo Glow to Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. They're in similar bottles and they do have similar finishes, but e.l.f. is a little bit thicker, a little bit more opaque. Well, Catrice, one of my favorite drugstore price brands, just launched their version. This is the Soft Glam Filter Fluid Glow Booster. I got it in shade 20 light medium. This is $10. It's also cruelty free and vegan. Now you are going to see a little bit of a shade difference here. This light medium shade is a little bit deeper. Now on top we have Catrice 20 light medium and on the bottom we have Charlotte Tilbury shade 3. The Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit lighter than Catrice. They're both complexion boosters that a illuminate and give radiance and smooth and give that real life filter effect. You can use the doe foot applicators and apply them straight to your face as I'm doing just to a few high points here in these clips. You can apply it fully underneath your foundation like a tinted primer. You can mix them with your foundation to give a little bit more luminosity and use them as highlighters. Now the lightweight texture of Catrice is pretty spot on to Charlotte Tilbury as opposed to the thicker texture of e.l.f. Halo Glow. But the finish is a little bit more wet, dewy looking than Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not sure if you can see that in my application clips, but you can see it pretty clearly on the back of my hand. So you see the Catrice here, it looks pretty wet, which can look really natural and beautiful. Whereas the Charlotte Tilbury looks a little softer and glowy, both pretty in different ways. It really just depends on what you want. If you have very dry skin, the Catrice may be more up your alley. Catrice Soft Glam Filter Fluid is cruelty-free and vegan and has vitamin E and squalane if you're looking for added skincare benefits. There's no added fragrance, but there is a scent to it. It's kind of a strange scent when I first pull it out of the tube and apply it. I don't notice it once it's applied and after my makeup is completed, but it is there at first. I always like to note fragrance because I know it does bother many of you. I do think that for $10, this is a great drugstore alternative to Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter from a brand I love. Have you tried this yet? Let me know. I'm very picky about my under eye area products. I have dark circles, under eye hollows, dryness, and texture. 
And I had this high-end under eye brightener in my life for a long time. It got old past its prime and I needed to throw it out and I never repurchased it for some specific reasons. But I have two drugstore dupes or alternatives that I think are better than the high-end version. This is Becca Brightening Corrector. It's insanely popular. It's $33 for 0.15 ounce. There are two shades, fair light and medium dark. It's cruel free and vegan. It neutralizes blue tones and brightens and illuminates your under eye area. It also has vitamin E. It's very, very thick and kind of sticky, tacky. A teeny, teeny, tiny bit goes a long way. Now, one of my drugstore options I think is a closer dupe, but the other one might suit some of you a little bit better. So I think it's a great alternative. So we have Lottie London Bright Bounce and Catrice Instant Awake Under Eye Brightener. Lottie London is $9 for 0.19 ounce. It comes in two shades, light and dark. It's cruelty free and also has vitamin E and cherry seed oil. And I think you can see here, it also has a thicker kind of sticky tacky texture, but I don't find it to be nearly as tricky thick to work with as the Becca product was. But even though it has a similar texture, I find it more lightweight than the Becca product and it's very creamy. I mean, you could just see how that slid onto the back of my hand. This is the closest drugstore version I've found to the Becca under eye brightener in terms of texture and consistency application, basically everything, except I like this one better. So the Catrice is $6 for 0.14 ounces and comes in two shades, light rose and warm nude. This has more of a slippy, almost oily feeling texture, but it's not greasy oily. This is vegan and cruelty free and has hyaluronic acid and shea butter. And it also glides onto the back of my hand very easily and is a little bit less opaque thick than the Lottie London and has a little bit more of a pinky undertone to it, whereas the Lottie London has more of a peach tone to it. So we have the Catrice and the Lottie London. Many under eye brighteners and correctors that are in pots like this are a little bit dry. These are two of the creamiest, most hydrating, neutralizing, illuminating under eye brighteners I've found from the drugstore. Now, I think Lottie Lennon Bright Bounce is the closest dupe to Becca Brightening Corrector, but it can be a little bit hard to find. Again, I have sourced everything for you down below in my description box, but even online sometimes it can be a little bit elusive. So I also also wanted to give you the alternative of Catrice. Some of you may not need as much correcting and you may want a little bit of a thinner texture. And I think Catrice can give you that. They're both great. It really depends on your wants and needs. I don't think you could go wrong with either. I mean, you could try both for half of what you would pay for one Becca corrector. I finally found what I think is a great dupe for Clarins Lip Comfort Oil. I know everyone raves and dupes Dior lip oils, but I prefer Clarins. Dior is thicker. I like a lip oil to be not quite that thick. They're not as thin as the new Summer Fridays though. They're somewhere in between, but very, very cushy and smooth. And they leave a, a hint of color and, and boost your own natural lip color in the process. It almost seems like they leave a little bit of a stain and they give a, a mirror-like shine. I'm just going to apply a little bit of plum over what I have on now. I also have cherry. I'll show you swatch here in a minute. Do you see how that kind of boosted what I already had on? It just gave it a little bit more and I just can never get over how good and smooth my lips feel after I apply these. These retail for $30 for 0.2 ounces. They have jojoba, hazelnut, and sweet briar rose. So people might be looking for a less expensive dupe, yes, but also if you have a nut allergy, you might not be able to wear these. Elf Glow Reviver Lip Oil is 
$8 for 0.25 ounces. These are also vegan and cruelty free. They have the same oversized doe foot applicator that feels really nice and plush when you apply them. And they give that sheer tint and also boost your natural lip color and give a mirror light glass shine. Now these have squalane and various oils, apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, jojoba seed oil, pomegranate oil. Now I blotted off the Clarins and still had a little bit of lip color underneath and applied the shade Rose Envy over it. And again, it boosted my lip color and it just feels so soft and smooth. Now the difference here is that these have kind of deep fruit scents to them, whereas this has kind of a minty feel and scent, but it's nothing tingly. It's not a lip plumper or anything like that. These swatches have been on the back of my hand for a little bit now. We have Clarins Cherry, Plum, and Rose Envy from e.l.f. I feel like the shade is probably in between both of my Clarins shades. It's not a shade dupe. It's more about the formula. I feel like most drugstore lip oils are a little bit too runny or too thick. They're trying to dupe the Dior lip oil or they don't have the right finish. There's something that's a little bit off. Elf Glow Reviver Lip Oil is the first one I found where I thought this is pretty much it. It's not a spot on dupe because of the scent, but it is a very, very close alternative. Let's talk about a possible primer dupe for this solid serum primer from Lancome that I loved the moment I tried it. So this has a little spatula that lives here in the top that I've already lost, but it's a solid primer that transforms into this lotion-y balm-like texture when you massage it between your fingers. And it's great for all skin types, even sensitive skin. It's lightweight and softly mattifies while hydrating at the same time. It smooths pores and texture and blurs and of course extends the wear of your makeup. So I started thinking about the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer which has been around a long time but most of us including myself don't apply it that way. Usually we normally dot it on our face or just where needed where we have visible pores and kind of press it into those areas. But I decided to test it out several times of course with the same application, scooping it out, massaging it between my fingers and then applying it to my face. And I found that it worked really well this way on all areas of my face, whereas it never did before. And although the e.l.f. packaging looks smaller, it's not. It's bigger and of course it's less money. Lancome is $46 for 0.51 ounces, while e.l.f. is $10 for 0.74 ounces. Plus it's cruelty free and vegan. Now, if you have dry skin and you haven't applied e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer that way, you may want to try it. I've never been able to use this on the drier or normal areas of my combination skin until now. Now, you may still prefer the Lancome because it is a little bit more hydrating, but this may be an alternative for you. But if you have oily to normal skin, this may be a great dupe. You may even like the e.l.f. better because it does, I think, softly mattify a little bit more. Because Laura Mercier has been revamping some of her packaging and products over time, I have a feeling these beautiful multi-dimensional face illuminators are gonna be on that list at some point. I feel like I've already seen a few shades out of stock on various websites. This shade is Indiscretion, which has been one of my favorites since it launched. It's a beautiful, warm, soft rose gold. I mean, it just looks like a liquid. It looks wet. These just have an incredibly soft, creamy texture and they don't look obvious. There's no sparkle. There's no glitter. It's just beautiful. So Sephora recently launched some contour powders and colorful luminizers that I already raved about in a YouTube video. The quality of these is fantastic. And I discovered that the shade Sparkling Honey is a pretty spot on dupe for Laura Mercier in discretion. Don't be scared of the word sparkling in the name. It's not glittery or glimmery or anything like that. Now it does look a little bit lighter when they're swatched next to each other. Here is Indiscretion and here is Sparkling Honey. It has that same wet look and I'm hoping you can see on my face 
how it gives that same reflective look. I did get a phone clip as well, just in case, because for some reason I feel like here in front of my lights, I can never capture this side of my face as well as I can this side. I think my cheekbone must sit lower over here. The asymmetry of the face is a, is a thing, especially when you're trying to get angles on camera, but it is just as beautiful and looks the same. And instead of paying $49 for 0.3 ounces, the Sephora collection highlighters are $14 for 0.12 ounces. Great quality at a great price. This is a fantastic fantastic dupe. Elf Pout Clout and NYX Fat Oil Slick Click have been duped to both Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip, the original, and Juicy Lip Plump, which is this gold one here. I love both of these for many reasons. Brands keep coming out with these hybrid lip gloss balm tint treatment products because they're beloved by so many people, including myself. Now, all four of these have a very thick, cushy texture to them. You kind of have to be careful with how much you apply because of that smushy texture. And I think you can even see how thick the two Tarte products are here. This is the Juicy Lip Plump. This is the regular. These retail for $24 for 0.095 ounces. They're vegan and cruelty-free. These are hydrating, smoothing, nurturing, cushiony, but not sticky, long wearing for this type of product. And in this case, plumping. This has a little bit of a minty sensation to it, but it doesn't tingle. These have hyaluronic acid, various oils, super fruits, vitamin E, all kinds of great ingredients to really nurture and, and provide comfort to your lips. A fat oil slick click retails for $11 for 0.07 ounces. These are also vegan and cruelty free. The shade going viral is on my lips right now. These are also powered with oil and provide that same cushy, thick, soft texture that's not sticky. They also have nice pigmentation and a soft high shine finish, although not as shiny as the two Tarte products here. This is the NYX, so you still get nice shine. As you can see on my lips, just not quite as shiny as the Tarte. There is also no minty sensation here. So to me, this is a little bit closer to the original. Now, Elf Pout Clout is $8. I am unable to find the amount of product that you get in here. It's not on their website. And because they use gray print on the back of their sticker here. I am unable to read it. I have gotten out a magnifying glass with my readers. I still can't read it, nor can I see the shade that I have here. I'll do what I can to try and find that for you. And if I find it, I will put it on screen. But this is Elf Pout Clout in comparison to the other three products. These are also vegan and cruelty-free, and these are powered by fruit extracts. And in comparison to all three of these, these have kind of a sticky feel feel to them. My lips feel like they're kind of gripping onto one another, not really in a good way. And as I continue to wear it throughout the day, I feel like my lips get a little bit dry. So in my opinion, Elf Pout Clout just did not do the job for me. I just don't think that's a great dupe, but NYX Fat Oil Slick Click, I'm really, really enjoying for a dupe or an alternative, depending on what you're looking for from this type of product at about half the cost. There are a couple of new Drunk Elephant Debronzy dupes I think we need to discuss. So first of all, Drunk Elephant Debronzy has been insanely popular for a long time, but it's it's kind of pricey. It's $38 for one ounce. It's vegan and cruelty-free. And one reason why I've been a fan of it for a long time is because this is designed to be mixed into products to give your skin a glow or to deepen foundations. So it helps me not have to have two different foundations when I do get somewhat of a tan in the summer. And it doesn't add a lot of extra luminosity or glow to those products or change the texture of those products. And there are some really great 
ingredients in here that work really well for my sensitive skin. And if you're concerned with dark spots, fine lines, wrinkles, dullness, there are peptides, antioxidants, vitamin D. There are just all kinds of great ingredients in here. And there have been a lot of dupes, but I've never really liked them as much because they don't have the same benefiting ingredients or they change the texture or the finish, whereas this one doesn't. So that's why this has remained in my life. So now we come to Pacifica Sunny Glow Bronzing Drops and Physician's Formula Butter Glow Bronzing Serum. Let's talk about Physician's Formula first. It retails for $16.99 for one ounce. It's also vegan and cruelty free and it comes in this really nice glass dropper bottle. I would say this has the thinnest formulation out of all three. So I took about a drop, maybe a little less of each and just kind of swatch them, rub them on the back of my hand, and they're pretty dried down at this point. So we have Drunk Elephant here, Pacifica, and Physician's Formula here. Now this is not necessarily a bad thing. As with all Physician's Formula products, you have their butter blend, so you're gonna get that scent. It's kind of a beachy scent. You also have essential fatty acids and provitamins to soften, condition, and moisturize your skin. You're not getting the same types of ingredients as in Drunk Elephant, but you're getting some nice beneficial ingredients. Now, if you're looking for bronzing drops that you can apply directly to your face and really get a nice sun-kissed glow, this is going to do that perfectly for you. If you want to mix this into moisturizer or some kind of skincare or foundation, similar to how the Drunk Elephant drops are designed, you'll need to use a little bit more of this, but it is less expensive. So there's that option too, but just note you do have have that scent. This, I would say, is a decent alternative to Drunk Elephant, but not really a spot on dupe, but I do like these. Now Pacifica Sunny Glow Bronzing Drops retail for $16 for one ounce. They're vegan and cruelty free. There's a light citrusy, pleasant in my opinion, scent to these that doesn't linger after it's applied like this scent does. This has skin loving and brightening benefits of vitamin C, glycolic acid, and kakadu plum. So again, skin benefits in here, but more so just to brighten rather than to also address fine lines and wrinkles like with Drunk Elephant. So again, we have Drunk Elephant here and Pacifica here. This is a pretty great dupe mixed into my moisturizer on both of my face. I really couldn't tell the difference. So out of all of the dupes that I've tested, this is the one I would recommend. It's the closest in terms of finish and texture, whether I am thinning it out and using it on its own, mixing it into moisturizer or some other type of skincare, or mixing it into foundation to deepen it. And you can't beat the price. Have you found any great dupes lately? Let me know in the comments down below or let me know if you're wanting me to hunt down a dupe. I always have so much fun putting these videos together. I hope you found this helpful and enjoyable. If you did, give it a thumbs up and be sure and check out my latest Amazon favorites video. There are so many varied types of products in there. I'll have it here for you if you haven't seen it yet. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.